So in today's video, I decided to make a Sevagoth Prime build. Well, that build, you really don't have to worry about these two. Build them to how you see fit. The build revolves around him himself. We'll be using Shadow Haze and Dark Propagation as the focus of the build. Augment, use whichever one you like. We're going to uh, augment Aura, use whichever one you like. We'll be using Growing Power. Shadow Haze is a Reap Augment, which increases your crit chance by 50% on enemies inflicted with a Death Harvest. New Shadows emerge whenever an enemy perishes. You'll get three of those at max. And then that mixes with Dark Propagation, which is a so Augment. Enemies killed while inflicted with a so spread it to enemies in 15 meters. Shadows Death Harvest will also inflict so. So this is a AoE and crit heavy build. So whatever doesn't die from the explosion from using your two and then one will just be slaughtered by you using your weapon since every enemy will be increased uh, with your crit chance. Use Prime Continue or Archon Continue, whichever one you have. Adaptation is for tanking. Stretch is so you have more range. Augur Secrets is so you have more ability strength. Same thing with Upper Intensify and Prime Flow for a lot of energy. You technically could zero form of this. This was a unnecessary format because I was still able to put on a not max, but like tier four auger secrets we have arcane avenger for extra crit chance and multi augment for more ability strength let's see how it works on the uh enemies in the simulacrum oh here we go here's some enemies basically the combination would just be pressing two and then pressing one and as you'll see the whole room explodes and makes more of your little uh ba -ba -ba, your little your little guys your little reapers and since it is an ability you can spam you can just keep hitting that button. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend it because this does eventually become a very ammo, ammo energy problem. But whatever doesn't uh, die, you would just end up um, you would just end up shooting them anyway. So if I unpause the AI real quick and I would show off my normal combo, I'd come in with a gloom active, hit my two, hit my one and watch the room explode. And since I've taken damage, I would finish 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 off whoever is left alive. And as you see, I'm the one that's left alive. I can't really do anything about that. So you've seen the build. You've seen how it works. Let's head into a still path mission so you can really see how it functions in crowded rooms. God, I make some good fashion. All right, we're in the mission. So press that, press one. Well, there. That was the uh, fastest kaboom I've seen in a hot minute. I'm going to activate gloom just as a precaution and then press one again. Explosion again. Just it's just everything just dies as long as my two can keep going. It's just kaboom. And on top of that, take advantage of the fact that I'm spreading crit to everything. Uh, if something doesn't uh, explode instantly, well, no, they, you just saw it. Stop. They just turn into a red mist. Or in this case, blue mist. Do that. Press two and pop. I love it. I love it. And since we're taking advantage of the fact that my uh, range is so high, Gloom also is increasing the amount of slow I'm doing. So I'm having no problems at all dealing with all the enemies that are just surrounding me. I mean, look at this. Pop. Whole room explodes. Well, there was there was more than just like 20 enemies. Uh, I didn't even get near him and he exploded. But I see everything just keeps exploding. Everything blows up. I ain't struggling. I'm not dying either. Grant, I'm struggling with energy, but... There are ways to fix that. I mean, look at that. Oh my god, the amount of crit. Or just don't run gloom all the time. So, uh, I'll come back to y'all whenever the uh, Acolyte spawns. See y'all then. I mean, to show the real power of this build is the fact that I don't run crit on my Aki Core. And look, I'm hitting red crits with this thing. Like, that's just that's just wild. It's amazing. Again, I'll be back whenever the Acolyte spawns. What's good is I don't want to take up too much of your time as you probably are enjoying the video. If you are enjoying the content and you want to see more, make sure you guys hit that like button. Do subscribe and turn on that bell for post notifications because every little bit helps as my channel is still growing and it is growing quite fast. And y'all seem to be enjoying the videos I have been making as my dual like or video is going crazy. My hate video is going crazy and stuff like that. So I'll stop taking up y'all time. Enjoy the rest of the video. Well, that wasn't long. The uh, oh, come on. It's always this one, too. Well, good thing there's a crowd of enemies right here and Man, of course, he gets me right as I'm about to kill him. Eh, but you saw I was doing some damage until I uh, kind of threw. <laughs> like that. I mean, this even works with melee. Like, I'm going crazy with my dual cores. Just pop that, do that, and whatever doesn't die, start meleeing. Go up. Slam. And just keep going. Like, I'm not having any issues outside of when Malice, as you just saw where I had uh, cut right after he killed me, uh... <laughs> Where he had just decided to hit me because I completely forgot to roll out of his mag bubble. 
Oh, and we got Vor. Let's see how Captain Vor uh, withstands all this. And you technically don't have to use a beam weapon. I do recommend the beam weapon, but you can melee too. That's what I was thinking. If you want, you might be able to replace your four. Oh, speak of Vor, here he is. There you go. Yeah, I'll stop. I'll stop talking. I'll I'll see y'all back in the orbiter. So y'all don't have to keep dealing with this. All right, so we are out of the mission. I stayed till about ten minutes. Had a little bit more fun. Didn't die that time to the to the acolyte. So, how do I think the build should be changed, mixed with, etc.? I think the build is quite nice as is. Things I would try to add would be things like equilibrium in some form or fashion, or do what I have done, which is add a Tau Forge Violet Arc on shard. Still, there will be issues with your energy as you are spamming a ton, but there are ways around it. You could run like Cant's Hunt and run a melee build, stuff like that. Overall, I think it could do with more range, but uh, these two just work so well together. You get such high crit chance and such good uh, AOE clear. It's not even that necessary, so to speak. And overall, the weapons I'd recommend, things like the Torrid, I guess. Beam weapons are going to be the strongest with this, so you have easy ad clear. The Archiplasma probably does quite well. I know the Tenet Galaxion does amazing. Things that don't are projectiles, specific ones, like Boltor. Boltor didn't do that good when I tested it. Strun did quite well. Corinth, weirdly enough, the grenade did not do well at all. The Occupor does amazing. Dual Icors does amazing. Just any weapon you like will more than likely work, minus some projectile weapons. Like I tried bows, they didn't, they didn't work that well. Uh, the shadow doesn't matter, and the claws build how you see fit. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, midnight, midnight morning, whatever time zone is yours, a great rest of your time. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, comment down below what you want to see, hit that like button, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.